Nice early start on some battle tech this morning. Right. This, I believe, is mission and go. Find which one that is. Draconis Combine at four loot is pretty good. More money. Convoy, though. Oh, ambitiously wealthy. Deniable destruction. Lost supplies. Only a three. Definitely want that four. Also only a three. Oh, whoa, whoa. Protect the max against Comstar for five. Pretty rough. All right, so I think we're on manufactured facility. Okay. Hello, Raidu. Rindu, even. Excuse me. All right. Who are we bringing? Did I there? I think it's fine. We want minimum f five gunnery there. Pericles can do that. Plans for the day? I'm loving the game. I'm loving the game too, man. The game is very, very, very fun. Uh, plans for the day? I'm going to try to get that melee back built. That's my goal. Whether or not we get there, I don't know. I definitely want team member five for these. All right. Let's drop in Death Crusade. Seven, five. Seven, five. Okay. Good morning, Dugard. My wife's asleep on the couch. She fell asleep on the couch last night watching TV. So I got the door closed to this room, trying to be a little quiet. I think it's probably too late. We'll see. Thankfully, all the glorious explosions and mechware noises can happen in the headphones. Sunday morning of gaming. Feels great. Feels great. Capture the manufacturing facility. You think that means we need to explode it? How do we know it's subdued? Really like our new hunchback. I want to start putting medium pulse on that ASAP. Need to get a couple more medium pulse. We need eight. We have three. Had this horrible snowstorm Friday night. Saturday was like nasty all day. Not too much more added snow, but just cold weather and blowing winds and the rest of it. I think today it calms down a little bit. Should be good. Command interface initiated. All right. Destroy the Keratin garrison. Scout the facility. Sure. Order. And we'll take our quote unquote orders. Not sure why they insist on sensors offline for the first round. Something lore related, probably. I'm ready. Going full throttle. Yes, Commander. Go. 
Why do I have to poke this giant spider a little bit today? I, I don't really like this swarm ammo very much. I think I might be taking that off the mech. Scout mech time. Should overload the AMS. Maybe try to get some ECM on that guy too, I'm not sure. All right, targets. Got an urban mech, one of the helicopters, okay. Has it moved yet? Do we know? Ready for order. It has. Uh, no visuals. Okay. So we can get damage on it. Probably should. Who moves this turn if we want them to? Yeah. We can also get our dude in. Alright, let's try to do some damage to this thing. Might be able to kill it before it acts, that'd be pretty good. See how much AMS it's got working. So close. A renewal. Welcome back. I said two months ambitiously wealthy. No LOS there, really? Sure looks like I have LOS. LOS there. Take it. <laughs> Fucking thing. Survived full volley from us. All three of our combat mechs didn't die. Didn't even get any structural crits. Teammates shooting him in the back for no reason whatsoever. Panic them though. I don't think panic really matters. I think it's plus two, minus two. Alright, that was their turn. Didn't do a lot. Can live with that. I think a. Tag barrage is probably fine there. I don't think it kills the vehicle, but it's a dream. Is that another vehicle or another dude? Don't know yet. What? Oh, it's a spider. I could swarm it too. I think swarm right on top of it's fine. <laughs> the attack barrage killed the helicopter. Glorious. Or maybe the swarm missiles did. I'm not actually sure which one did it. It's 
Does it matter if we shoot him from the right side? No, not really. I want to move closer too, so probably works. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Uh huh. We are securing the, the area. An ejection. Commander. Got it, Commander. Right. Take that. Wonder what the second wave is going to be. Specify the area around the base. Third round of the advanced targeting. I'm gonna leave it on, but one left shot. Occupy the facility. I haven't actually done one of these before. I don't know what this mission entails. Past killing all the supporting mechs. I await your command. Is there an area around the base? Really look like it. Yes, Manda. Lifting off. Everyone has to be there to occupy it? No, we definitely have it. It's considered occupied now. Waiting for orders. I guess there's going to be more people showing up. Wonder from where. Alright, where are the map boundaries? There, there, there. Probably back the way we came then. Thank you, Nose, for the 21 months.
Maybe my teammates are not pacified. Opponents are literally spinning in circles. Okay. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Nope, far side of the base. Okay. Panther. Yes, command. Ah, we need to turn this off before it blows up. Doesn't say anything about keeping the base alive anymore, so uh, maybe collateral damage is acceptable. All right, what are we picking up? Falcon, Panther, Crab. Okay, it's our first look at a crab. I think there's a fourth. All right, I thought we had LOS on him. I thought I checked that first. Can get LOS, okay. Coordinates received. Let's go ahead and missile him. 18s on these, 29s on those. Pretty exciting damage. Avoiding defense mission with very long downtime due to multiple enemies and allies. I'm doing it. I'm not avoiding anything particularly. I'm taking whatever missions are uh, doable for. Uh, I'm mostly picking missions on faction rep at the moment. Faction uh, rep and loot percentage. Do that guy have like a 10 defense for move? He may have. I want to get closer. Chance didn't apply to swarms. Um, sure, but it also doesn't do shit for damage. Think about it this way. If the if the swarm is doing like one to three, it's like a minus seventy five percent damage. You can think of that as the same way basically as a minus seventy five percent hit modifier. So you're right, it doesn't have a hit modifier applied to it, but it has a damage modifier that may as well be a hit modifier. Oops. Um, I don't know, Karma. I have the, I have the, uh, the, the code for it, because I was planning on playing it, but I don't know when is the answer. The moment I'm really, really enjoying uh, Rogue Tech, we'll probably be playing that for the near future. We'll see. All right, more missiles. No visual target move, target terrain. Long range, heightened inspired. Are they adjacent to each other so that the swarm missiles might do anything? We could try them. I don't think so. Let's see what the damage difference is like. I mean, it will get hits is the only thing it has good going for it. Ten. Amazing. What a missile system. Commander. Turn our module back on. Some 
weird performance right now. I'm backing something up. It's probably it. Punch me in the back. What an asshole. Such a suicidal move on his part. Yes, Commander. I wonder if we should blow him up. Talk. Yes, Commander. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, but I've enjoyed Frostpunk. Sure. Not even sure what that weapon was. I think he was improved to confident. You sure you know what confident means, friend? Follow the leader missiles here, or we can just start pegging this guy here. I have a tag barrage too. Hey, nice. Cord him. Can save the bigger mechs for this guy then. It's been kind of a walk in the park so far. Guy is pathing around the base in an annoying way. Can get on top of him. Saw a shot there. What's up, Commander? All right, are we currently imaging? I think we are. Probably okay as well. Also, good position, nice. Large, large, small, medium though. He's gonna pack a punch here. And he is going ahead of Pericles, unfortunately. Didn't shoot though. Kinda weird. I think he wants to be bald. <sighs> Miss. Wrecks the base. Sure, sure. Oh, the war song. Not sure what one dash eight means in this context. All right, FTLs. Ninety-seven percent. Oh no, I got excited. Why so bad, friend? No visuals, target moved, medium range. Good morning, thirsty work. Did actually help. I don't know why it helped, though. That a sensor lock gave us. Still no visuals. What did we just remove from there? Probably the evasion pip.
could just level the base. I don't think he had ECM. I don't remember an ECM negative. I'm pretty sure it was just the sensor pip. All of our shots are blocked. Evasive. They will be done. How are these block shots? Got it, All right. That was a pretty gentle mission. First mission of the morning. Mission successful. Also, I don't, I don't know if sensor lock does remove ECM. I gotta read the ability again. All right. Falcon, Panther, Spider, Crab, Portion, Urban Mech, Urban Mech, Urban Mech, Urban Mech. It's a medium magma laser plus, which I might actually take here. There's a second tag barrage. <laughs> Module silly. Uh, heat sinks, jump jet, sensor basic. Cooling. Okay, I mean the loot is really bad besides that, like insanely bad. Like, we might be taking an engine core at 080. Going six sock. Grab that. Picked up Panther, Spider, Urban Mech, Falcon portions. And some hot garbage. Okay. Yeah, but the sensor bonus peaks at a certain point, Eric, Eric Neck, right? So like if once I have a sensor lock on the target, having more sensor strength versus that target doesn't actually help me. So I was curious as to, I had a sensor lock before I sensor locked him and I got an increase in accuracy after and I was just making sure I understood why. And I believe it was because um, sensor lock also removes a single evasion of pip and he had moved. So I'm pretty sure that's why we got that. I don't even know we needed one day of repair, but okay, sure. All right. Now, hilariously, our limiting factor right now is pilots never happens but this means we have some mech bait time which we should take advantage of we also have four days on the argo upgrade uh how long before we're gonna have people two days on test nine it's probably four days before we can do anything though rank up hold the line this hamlet shall not fall <laughs> good morning redbeard thank you for the host hope you're uh her stone went well. Uh, playing some rogue tech this morning, guys. If you don't know what this is, welcome. This is a turn-based, squad-based strategy game set in uh, set in space, set in the future of space, fighting with mech warriors, which is fucking phenomenally fun. You run a mercenary company, and uh, your limiting factors are basically your mech size, time, and money. Look at Nightbot just shutting down the emote spam. Oh man, maybe we have to disable that. 
<laughs> I don't know why it's timing you guys out. It doesn't like you guys, apparently. <laughs> I might adjust that right now. There's like a limit on the number of emotes you can spam at once, but uh, I don't know. It should be like a raid raid window where it's not there. Thank you, D. Saltman, for the sub. Welcome. Worst raid ever. <laughs> Look, we got our defenses in place. We were ready for a raid. And we shut it down. Fucking Nightbot with the AMS system right there. Just shooting that shit down. It's glorious. Anyways. So, uh, we're tweaking right now. So, we have four. Uh, we have a squad of four. With uh, four mechs running two hunchbacks. Which are 50 ton mechs. A 55 ton mech on our line breaker. And a 45 ton mech on our fire starter. Uh, we've got a couple days downtime. Right now, uh, one of the limiting factors we have is a number of pilots. And we only have 10 pilots, 8 of whom are fatigued from running missions. And nothing uh, queued up in the mech base. We're going to spend a couple days here doing upgrades to our mechs. And then we'll launch the next mission. Alright. So let's start that off. Alright, so what first? So I'm pretty sure we have a gunnery module that we want to draw, a gunnery life support system module that we want to get in somebody's head. Uh, probably the line breaker. And this might be a time to tweak the hunchback as well. Hunchback needs, oh this is, the other one is unfortunately the one. He must have got hit. Bummer. Okay. D. Saltman, subbing and then gifting. Time to collision. Please no bully, okay? Alorian the being an ice sided walk. Ice sidewalk, rather, excuse me. Welcome, guys. It fills you with determination. Thank you, D. Saltman, for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Alright, uh, I think we're pretty good on the PPC boat right now. I don't think we need to put gunnery systems Another in here. Fool lost in time and space. So, this guy looked pretty good. I'd like a little bit more armor, but the only one we do that is we get a uh, heavy ferrofiber. So we might be able to do that right now. Another poor fool lost Since we have, space. we might have the money. Maybe we have to do a little bit of budgeting. So, all right, we've got payday in 24 days. We've got mech upgrade coming up here in Another four days. Lost in time and space. <sighs> what are we gonna pick up for our next upgrade? Enables third repair bay to work 100% efficiently. That's something I want. What does it cost me? 100k. Enables third repair bay. What's the prereq though? If that's all it is, we're going to pick that up. Alright, that's easy then. There's no prereqs on this? Oh, co yeah, auto automation, structural reinforcement, and mech bay 3, and we're building mech bay 3 right now. So that should be super insanely easy. If we want to try to go for drop size 5 right now, which I'd love to do, we need 2.5 million. It's an instant train, but it's expensive, right? 2.5 million and 100k upkeep cost, which is a lot. Where are you farming on the map right now? Uh, we're not. We're heading north slowly, uh, looking for clan tech. Um... All right, so we're probably getting that, which probably means we only need to budget 100k for that. Uh, plus another, what is it, eight for our current, nine for our current costs. Still, it's only a hundred, that's only a million. Can we afford to pick up? I guess we need to dump some crap. Let's see what we can sell. Zeus part there. All right, uh, pirate AC5, sure. Uh, I think we can get rid of one of the AC-20s, since we have a Federated. So we'll go down to one of these. Uh, I want the Boomstick. Chaff countermeasures. I don't think we're going to be using this. Is this a support weapon? I mean, maybe. Clan ER lasers, ER medium laser. Uh, I don't really care about ER medium lasers. I don't I think I want the modified versions either. It's not very excited about medium extended range of medium lasers. We have an ER PPC, which we'll hold on to. Maybe we can get another one in there. Flamer I want to hold on to. Fluid gun I want to hold on to. Heavy pulse. 60 damage compared to the 100 of the auto cannon. What does it weigh? 8 instead of 14. Range is pretty bad. Recoil four. Seems pretty shit. I think I'd get rid of that. 
Still looking forward to using this. Seems a little bit better. Uh, light PPCs, maybe we can fit in. Light rifles, not very excited about those. Too many LRMs now. LRM5 long fire, plus 80 to all range brackets. Increased range, increased heat. That's okay. M pods. Don't think I like this very much. Range close. Single salvo. Area of effect. Two evasion pips ignored. Times two critical chance. Nah, I don't care about that. Let's get rid of that. All right. Billion medium. The medium laser minus. Get out of here. Three pulse. Two magnas. I'm gonna go down to four of these. I think. All right, starting to stockpile machine guns. Don't need machine gun lights. Do I want seven machine guns? I don't mind building this on. These aren't support weapons, though. Hmm. I don't think so. Just need cash right now anyways, right? MRM 10, that's a nice upgrade. I didn't know we picked one of those up. Plasma torch, PPC, regular. Death Blossoms, I don't care about small lasers. SRMs, twos, two Cs, fours, and sixes. I don't think we need the twos. I don't really think we need these either, but maybe. Picked up another Tag Barrage, Thunderbolts, Armored Primitive can go, Armored Cow can go. The regular case can go now that we picked up a case two. The engine parts can probably go. The 60 definitely. The 140 probably. The internal combustion. Do not need 28 small jump jets. Probably need about six. Starting to build heavy jump jets. Improved smalls. I'll keep the wing system. We might use the pirate FCS again. Four endos might be too many. Uh, I think you're right, actually. Probably sell two of these. One of these. The endos are really useful. I put them on pretty much everybody. So having them around is nice, but maybe definitely too many. We don't need five standards. Go down to four, go down to one. There's the gunnery support item we want to install. 38 heat sinks seems insane. Bring that down to eight. Seeing doubles, I would like as many as I could get. These are both good conversion pieces that we may use. Thought I already got rid of the jump jets. Sensor sniper is fine. Sensor basic is gone. We're not ever going to use those again. Sensors powered. Sensors primitive, we definitely don't need. Uh, into the ammo range. Standard fusion engines. We can get rid of three of those. AC 20 ammo, AC 20 ammo double. Chem, medium chem lasers. Did we keep the medium chem lasers? Yeah, we did. Okay. I guess I'm considering using those one day. Ammo heavy rifle. We got rid of heavy rifle and light rifle, so we can sell these. Hold the LRM ammos. Got rid of the machine guns. There, there's MRM ammo. Probably hold on to that. SRM ammo is fine. And then the Thunderhawk and Thumper ammo. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's selling the bulk of our junk, bringing us up to 1.7. Let's also get rid of some of the partial mech bay stuff that we're not really wor worried about. I don't want to build urban mechs. Or Panthers. Or Falcons. Or Spiders. Yes, yeah, it's the last, the little tiny ones. There's a flea there. A locust. Uh, we have three Clint. We actually have four Clint parts. Maybe hold on to that for the moment. It's the smallest mech I consider putting back together. I don't want to build an Icarus. That one part. Do we have five Griffin parts? No, it's four. Okay. Firestarter, Blackjack, Ghost, Hatchetman, Kintaro, Centurion. A little unexcited about the Centurion. More Ghost parts. We actually have three Ghost parts. Is that right? 
GST, yeah, okay. Hunchback, I'm not building another Hunchback. Okay. So nice, man, why is that one so expensive? Flying debris is equipped with jury-rigged Goss, silverware Goss rifle. Seems kind of shit. All right. Nice sale though. We've got the one Thunderbolt part. All right, I think that's about what we want to sell for components. We are looking to build another mech, ideally today. Hello, Falderist. All right, so we needed a million. So we've got about a million to spare. It's gonna cost me a million to put that engine into the, into the, uh, the hunchback. So we're not actually particularly flush right now. Just too bad, because I want to buy, I want to buy that Pharaoh uh, Fiverr's upgrade. All right, line breaker is getting the accuracy upgrade. And I believe it's an A. Okay. Line breaker could use breaching shots. No. I don't think so. Uh, what could else do we want on here? We could swap the, and we're running C3 Master, we could swap the Bloodhound Probe for a, um, for the slightly lower version of that, which was only 1.5 cost. This would really kind of be nice on the back brain, our back mech. Oh, chat, the line breaker is using a weapon that doesn't hit the same location. Which means that Breaching shot. I mean, yes, breaching shot will ignore the cover of the area if I shoot only that weapon at my target. But I'm shooting four mini medium range weapons all at once. There's some question about whether or not we could fit the MRM over here, too. I don't know what it weighs. I mean, the benefit of an MRM over an SRM is you can use LRM ammo, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. It's a shotgun, it's red out damage, but also four other weapon systems we want to shoot there. Wouldn't mind a case in here too. Breaching shot doesn't make sense. We give up. All right, so imagine we try to get breaching shot in here, which I really don't agree with, but let's look. Let's just take a look at what it costs us. Accuracy with ranged weapons, provide one evasion pips ignore, both nice. Recoil with ranged weapons, not great. I don't know if that means that weapons that don't already have recoil now have recoil or not, but actually at this level of piloting, it doesn't really matter. Maybe there is an argument for this. 10% weapon heat generator is pretty rough. Does the HMRM have recoil? No. 10% heat's not really where I wanted to go for this. But if we were to be tweaking this, and I'm not sure we're going to, I would probably take this off to put in um, that. Probably grabbing, maybe, maybe taking the Artemis too for uh, the breaching. I mean, would it be, the, the nice part about breaching would be the um, close range shots in forest, right? But then you can't use half your weapon systems. The heat's an issue. Saved half a ton. Not terribly excited by this. It's running double heat sinks. 
I mean, this does nearly this. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want that. That's, I mean, it's an interesting suggestion. It's a suggestion I hadn't considered because I just was not considering with four, four, four close range weapon systems at all the same range. Breaching shot is only on a single target or only rather when a single weapon is used, which means you have to split damage. I really hate splitting damage. I'm pretty unexcited by that news all around. I think not. Um, is half a ton of armor useful to us? Not really. Jump jet for a half ton is not a bad idea. So if we did this, then we put gunner support in, swap the probes. I need to make sure we have weight to support the the bloodhound probe on the the long range guy. We may not need it now since we picked up the rangefinder headpiece. So presumably the sight range and sensor range is a little bit less important on the close range. I mean, that looks reasonable. I mean, this is basically the trade-off we did before when we put this on. There, so the real question is, if we do this, which is pretty promising, that's okay. Then it gives us one another gunnery, actually. What happens to, uh, can we fit the Bloodhound on this guy? Which is where they would want to go. And this guy's already struggling with weight, right? He's already under-armored compared, com compared to what I would like. So the answer is probably not. Drop all the weapons except the MRM. Good. Um, it's going to make for some awkward rounds when the MRM jams. I really would like to pick up the other piece of better ferrofibrous, which is another half ton on this mech, right? Half ton becomes armor or the upgraded Beagle Probe. We might just have to roll with the, the weaker Beagle Probe. All right, I don't want to spend that money necessarily right away. I think then we're going to wait because I'd have to buy it, right? And if I buy it, I can't do the big upgrade on the Hunchback. I think for one day, we can wait one day here. I think we want to mess with on the fire starter. I didn't love, I haven't loved these LRMs, particularly I haven't loved this, uh, the swarm ammo. So I just wanted to double check if we had any LRM ammo that we could use differently. Also, I wanted to look at the weight of our MRM-10 launcher. So this weighs three. It only weighs three? Minus one accuracy. Let's see. So our payment basically is for the flexibility of it also having a close range weapon system. It's my, it's just one less accuracy all around. Pretty sure we need um, Artemis 4. I think we need a Artem literally an Artemis 4 um, uh, fire control system, which we don't have. Uh, I was looking for something specific. What was it? I was looking at the ammo for MRMs and LRMs. I mean, and was there something we could replace? have more LK missiles. We 
we have just generic LRM. Are the LK missiles just 100% better than the generic LRMs? No. They have increased interception chance. Doesn't that MRM ammo just make the minus accuracy a wash? No, because it has minus one accuracy to the launcher and the MRM is, is flexible. It can be an LRM or a, an SRM. It can either shoot close or long. So no, it's not a wash. It costs me any long range accuracy. Really kind of tempted to get rid of this ship. 25% long range damage. Deals AOE within 30 meters. 30 meters, one tile. Minus two direct fire accuracy. Swarm missile, indirect fire missile system. Spreads cluster bombs in target area. I knew it was spreading those fucking shitty things. How we fly it, uh... I'm really unexcited about this ammo. It's been really bad. Did we just jump double up on the LK ammo? We're not even using good LK. This We have, um... Ammo LRM FTL. Oh, because these are not... This is, um... Slightly different ammo. I think I'd like to make that change for ammo. Bombs, not mines. Oh, oh maybe not then. Uh, the other thing we kind of would like to put on this guy is... Oh, he doesn't have visual ability either. We have another tag barrage. I don't know if they share cooldowns or if they're separate cooldowns. But it kind of feels like they're on separate cooldowns, right? So how do we fit our other tag barrage on? It only weighs one. <laughs> There's no way we're getting a ton on this mech, right? Oh, the slave, the slave, which I'm fucking not using anymore. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to pull that off anyways, that's fine. Offboard tag already installed on mech. Oh, you can only have one on each mech, I guess. Can we get half a ton and get a beagle on here? For the ranged? Case. Good. I'd like to make this work. How do we make this work? Does it have too many jump jets? I mean, that would be the thing we'd pull, right? What is this current jumping? One day. Run that. Don't get thirsty. Maybe eventually we pick up another uh, clan launcher and get a ton of weight back. I've been pretty unex unexcited by the uh, indirect fire missile mode. I was kind of expecting it to be better. We can get plus one accuracy off missiles by pulling it off. If we were to make the breaching shot change on the line breaker, we could uh, steal it for this. I think this happens though. All right. Okay, so that's one day. Uh, let's move it forward till it ends those tasks. Great. Uh, let's take a look at the changes we want to make on this mech. I'd like to get that other tag barrage in. I just don't know on who.
Modify engines and omnis, correct. Uh, so if we wanted to do this here, which we do, we want to throw this clan XL engine in. How long does it take? Two days. See, this might be a good time for it. It's very expensive, but we've been waiting to do this. How long have I been liking the void system? How have I been liking it? I've been liking it a lot. I'm a little worried that I'm overkilling it with the, um, the enhanced imaging gives me uh, plus two max evasion, or er, is it this one? I think it's this the support module for it. Gives me two evasion pips gained from movement. And I don't remember if the void system gives me evasion pips based on movement, I don't think it does. So I'm a little worried I'm overkilling it with the extra evasion pips. I think the uh, gyro defense gives me evasion pips too, right? So this guy gets plus three movement, plus three evasion pips whenever he moves, which makes me, and that totally, that's opposite what you want to do with the stealth systems, which is stay still. Can I add another life support system on this mech? I could, but I think its accuracy is fine. I'd like to put it on the other mech. All right, so starting getting this engine XL in while we have the days would be nice. We might also be able to tweak a couple of the weapons right now. Yeah, but we'll do this one incrementally, um, Sphinx. Since we have, uh, oh, that's the other thing I should look at before we do this. How many days do we have before we have enough pilots? Three, so we have three days before we'd like to launch again. Yeah, we could do a stub nose PPC. I was thinking about that yesterday for um, the small PPC. Provides half the stealth bits when sprinting. Um, no, I think, it, I think it doesn't provide any stealth pips when sprinting. Six mimetic stealth charges decays with movement. Decays, charge decay seven per seven hex distance move. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Mimetic charge decay per seven hex distance moved. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, all right, so. This guy running the slave module makes sense because he's going to be in melee all the time. Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought it was. I thought it was I lost one, one charge per move. Per, per tile, which meant that every time I move six or more, I was going to have zero. But it also has a just a flat minus 70% reduced visibility and minus 15% and minus sensor signature, which I've been pretty pleased about. Because not giving them chances to fail their, their sensor check roll or their, um, their vision roll on top of having a shit ton of evasion pips is really nice. Anyways, um... So let's say we throw in, so I just rolled it back. Why did I roll it back? I don't remember why I rolled it back. But let's say, oh, because I'm looking at it. We have, what is it, three days or four days? I just checked. Chat, do you remember if it was three days or four days? Three, okay. So three days on this. So the type of weapons we want, I was, I would eventually like to be, think about the weight and try to get all medium lasers on. This is running a double heat sink. I think we have a double heat sink. That's three days to get the double heat sink on. It's kind of a nice start with that. We are gonna want that. Now the question is, what does it cost me to put these weapons on? So the stub nose PPC is quite heavy at six tons. The light PPC is much better at four tons. Uh, how do the damage? Damage is double on the stub nose. Stub nose has pretty nasty recoil. I don't know what this... Okay, so this is something special. This is a pirate version or something, right? So what does it do? Blows up when it's destroyed. Grants unique weapon fire modes. Rapid fire or overcharging the capacitor. It's three modes, shotgun and plus 50% damage. I mean, that seems like a pretty nice weapon. We absolutely are gonna put some pulse on. That's the, that's the been the long-term goal of this mech for ages is to eventually sub all the ma uh, medium lasers out for pulses. We also would like to increase its armor a little bit. It's not quite where I want it armor-wise. I just have a feeling that um, 
I mean, we could maybe wait on the, the, the heat sink double. Let's see what happens if we just try putting impulses. So also, I also picked up two medium laser magnas right now, which are more heat for more damage. I don't actually like these things very much, but maybe. It's already up to four days doing that. I think we want to make this three days. Could swap the ones on the arms for pulses. Maybe up the armor. Question is how much more armor do we need? Put that PPC in. Um, although if we were to run the PPC, I'm probably wanting it on the arm, right? Something like that. It's an interesting idea to use it. How's the heat on it? Generates 22 heat. Double the magna. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to have the heat generation for that on this eventually. And it's even more heat in the alternate firing modes. Yeah. All right. So the stuff we can do right now, though, is we can get our weight back. And you can take the time to do it. It's a big hit in terms of cash, but um, it's a really nice upgrade. Yeah, we're going to add up heat sinks to it for sure. And three days, we could just run the double heat sink now, get that in there. It's actually totally useless in this world for the time being. Alternatively, we could try to put lasers on the arms, medium lasers on the arms. Like, I'd like to start incrementally upgrading these. We have th three medium pulse, I believe. And at the moment, it's essentially free, changing it as three days. Maybe we tweak some armor as well. If I were to put another one on, still three days. That's worth. We know one's going to go on the torso because we don't know if we're going to put the PPC on the arm or another medium laser on that. So the issues with this now become, do we, do we want to try to shoehorn a, PPC on here or not? I think not, honestly. Problem, the question is whether or not we get more pulses. We may not actually get pulses. We haven't looted pulses this entire game, pretty much. Keep an eye out for them, but we haven't seen them. All right, we probably have a little bit of armor tweaking we can do here. Which may be overkill, but maybe not. Oh, that went immediately to four. So we were right on the border of three days anyways. All right, that's good then. It's expensive, but gives us the one of the big upgrades we were looking on. And swaps out some medium pulses. We should, I mean, hypothetically, it's better to have this medium laser be a medium pulse there. Chems are lighter weight, uh, or lighter weight and lighter um, heat, but you have to run ammo. All right. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right. We have three days. That's one of them. I thought we up. I thought we signed off on this thing. Oh, it already finished. All right, we've got that other tag barrage too. The tag barrage going on this guy might be okay. I mean, okay, so we don't have a ton of weight to play with on this guy anymore. And also we're a little light on the number of slots we have to tweak. Literally one over here. But we could drop a medium laser for a tag barrage. That would be pushing us in the direction of maybe being interested in the uh, the the breaching module. Can we ever have to upgrade the SRM? We have a better SRM. What was the weight on the MRM? I 
MRM 10 weighs 3. That's got to be better than the SRM 6, right? SRM 6 weighs 3 as well. Is less damage the MRM 10? Does it? 50 damage. 60. It's actually less with 10 fucking missiles? Generates a lot less heat. MRM shoots LRM missiles at SRM ranges. Does it do that though? I thought it just used different ammo types. Because there's a specific ammo type called an MRM ammo. Like we'd have to put that on. If we wanted to do this, I'm not even sure we have the spots for it, but let's say we wanted to do this. Oh, he also has auto cannon. The guy also has auto cannon mounts, chat. I forgot about that. You know, I think we have 14 tons to spare. So why would we want to switch to an MRM then? We'd want to switch to an MRM for heat and we'd want to switch to an MRM for versatility of long range ammo, which I'm not very interested in uh, on this guy. We stuck that probe into the other guy, didn't we? So currently to get a Bloodhound blood probe back, we have to swap it with the, uh, the Hunchback. I think MRMs have lower interception. I think it's higher interception, isn't it? Uh, active targeting, 50% more likely to be intercepted by AMS for that one. And our actual MRM launchers are here. Uh, if we wanted to do this off for that, it would be that off for, it gives us less rounds of fighting, I assume, since uh, it uses more. gone down a little bit in heat we're trying to get a tag in here could drop in this realm we can definitely drop the double heat sink i mean what is our actual heat efficiency on this thing we are six heat here 30 here for 36 firing the medium laser twice 36 and 18 is 54 right so we're generating 54 heat, and our engine itself vents 60, if I remember correctly. So we could drop double heat sink. Freeze up a ton. Is there a support slot for the tag? Yeah, there's one, right? I don't know where it is, though. Haven't looked on this arm. Gets us a second tag barrage. That's okay. Is that an upgrade? I think using our other tag barrage is nice.
There's another thing we can mess with over here too, which is we can mess with um, either sensors. We're, all, we're gonna run the gunnery support in here, right? That was going in. And we can mess with, uh, this is currently running a Solaris cage in the cockpit, which I think is fine. We're running sensor sniper, sensor range, sight range. I think that's okay. I think that's a little tiny baby upgrade on this guy. It just seems okay to me. It takes three days, which is what we're looking to spend. We still don't have perfect armor coverage. We put two armor in here, chat. Perfect. All right. I like getting the addition of our second tag immediately equipped. Seems reasonable to me. Let's rock that. Hey, Night Shifty. Thanks for the sub. Haven't subbed since last year. Need to fix that. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to fix that. We could also get a little bit more weight off swapping the Bloodhound, uh, downgrading the Bloodhound probe, which we probably want to do eventually. But I like this for now. This gets the gunnery portion in we want as well. Let's hit confirm on that. All right. So we have three days of mech training to do, and then we can launch our mission. And then we have the decision, basically. What did we say? We needed uh, one million for the next the next Argo upgrade. It's going to cost us one million, right? No, it's going to cost 100,000. That concludes the next payday. Well, we got a bit of time then. Do we wish to pick up the heavy ferrofibrous? I kind of want to. I think it was 500k. Should have taken the other Beagle probe. Uh, that was available in the loot there. I didn't because I thought we had enough. But as I understand sight a little bit better, I'm a little bit more excited by him. Um, this would be here. Oh, we didn't go with the breaching module. It's probably okay. Adds extra heat too, which we probably can't afford. This one here. Heavy Pharaoh takes up too many slots. Takes up 15 slots. We have 15 slots on the guy we're using, right? Ah, it's very tempting. Fits our budget. Let's us either get the better sensor range probe on the PPC boat. Yeah, the PPC back uses it. All right, let's pick it up. I like having more fancy things. Okay. If we have slots, why not? Because it cost me 400k. Alright. Meanwhile, missions. I think we have. Uh, we should actually do barracks upgrades. Let's go ahead and save game. Yeah, I don't think I can afford the T3 patchwork, as nice as it is. And it is really nice. A single module giving you six, have 0.6 tons back is fucking great. All right. Let's go take a look at our pilots. Oh, we need three days. We need to run run the time forward three days. And that's correct. Three days, three days. Good. We also need to save up for the upgrade too. That work order is complete, boss. All right. Top notch work, if I may say so. I've got some things to update you on, boss. Start work on the.
third mech bay at 100% efficiency is absolutely what we want to do. The question is, do we try to get drop size in now? I don't think so. I think we try to do it at the end of the 25 days. So let's grab it for 15 days. Dude, it also just gives us two tech points. Fucking great upgrade. All right, let's purchase that upgrade. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. All right, let's go look at the barracks for promotions. Got a fair number of people back. Will be done. No promotion. Why does this person have so much in piloting? Oh, because this person's going for phantom mech. Okay. Cold fire is going for that. That I just picked up. Oh, it already has sensor lock. But it's fatigued. Huh. Does that mean he's got enough for this one? What happens if I pick this up? Oh, I can't take it. Pick it right now. Okay, never mind. Uh, Death Crusade, waiting. Dust Raker, waiting. Mega flop, waiting. Pathfinder, waiting. Test nine, waiting. Okay, so we don't have promotions, so that's fine. Let's go do our mission. Commander. All right, we'd like at least four of seventeen. Protect the max at five of twenty-one. Hardest mission on there. A lance of our heaviest mechs is in poor repair after a long patrol. We have credible intelligence suggesting that Comstar, which is someone I don't want to run against, will attempt to exploit this vulnerability. We have no other significant units in the area, so we need you to drop in and run interference. I don't really want to tank five standing with Comstar. It's a bit, a bit irritating. The rest of these missions kind of suck, though. This is the next best in terms of salvage rights on four. What's the next heaviest? Target Draconis Combine. We don't gain any faction standing, but we get three loot rolls on a decent sized mech at two and a half. We can do a two star versus planetary government for Commonwealth, but only two loot portions. Three on this one versus Combine. That seems reasonable. I think we'd like to do something. I mean,. How many days do we need on our mechs, not on our pilots? This is the one I think thrown to the side looks pretty good. We need a day on our pilots before we can run our second group. So maybe we want to do it the other way around then. Take the easy one first, then take that one to hit match our uh, pilot fatigue. Seems to make a bit more sense. All right, we'll go for another four looter then here on bodyguards. Uh Oh, it's underweight because we just upgraded its stuff. That's fine. All right, who's going here? Okay. Assassinate will put me against the mech with excellent loot. Which one was Did I miss an assassinate mission? What assassinate missions are there? Dead or alive? At half a... Actually run for Draconis Trom Combine there. This might be an assassinate here. I want to do that mission. This is on our list of things to do, but we're going to take the cheap one first because of the fatigue spiral on our pilots, which means we currently have one day we'd like to wait before going again, That which means I'd like to only do one day of repairs, which means I want to do a slightly lighter mission followed by a heavier mission to maximize uh, the correspondence of our, or the lining up of our mechs and our, uh, our mechs and our pilots. Uh, 
Um, need another shooter, 5.6, okay. 7.5, probably better, but 5.6 for this is probably good. Oh, we need five piloting gunnery there. That's fine then. And then we have some seven pilots, seven, seven. We're gonna have Bud back next time. He's only, a, he's a seven when he's not fatigued. So we can either run Arbiter or Death Crusade and Arbiter is the one who doesn't have leadership. And we already have a leader here. So that makes sense. Let's deploy this. Okay. Off we go. I don't know if we're gonna be in this system a whole lot longer. Had some nice stuff in it. We got some good repair time, good change. Uh, Good upgrades on our on our lance, but the missions aren't being all that sweet. Second tag barrage was a nice pickup, though, wasn't it? Defend. This is frozen. Looks kind of frozen to me. Maybe a good time. Yesterday seemed to suggest we should be restarting Rogue Tech a bit more often than we do. Yeah. All right. Rip. Should be able to restart and immediately relaunch. Uh, with that upgrade, I'll be able to bring five mechs to mission, correct? All right, chat, I'm gonna take this, uh, well, this loads in. Well, I'll get through the initializing loads and I'll hit the load again, but I'm gonna, I wanna go grab more water here in a minute. Uh, yep, I have done all the Rogue Tech performance suggestions. Okay. Yes, we all do. Honestly, it's totally playable. Just has a few more crashes than I'd like. I understand the comparisons to the base game, which was pretty fucking bad for crashes and uh, delays too, but. The goal is just to get our fifth mech online today. I want a melee mech. This game on launch was a disaster. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. I remember playing through it, but I don't know if it was on launch or if they had a couple of stability patches to go through. Yeah, base game had some serious issues with it. Base game was still fun though. I mean, it says a lot. The game, the game as a concept is really good, right? Takes a lot of the fun parts of MechWarrior combined with a lot of the fun parts of this type of genre. All right. So we were launching on bodyguards. We were full negotiation on that. 
These are the people we've chosen. We're going to deploy. It's fine. All right, I'm going to grab water chat back in a sec. Okay. It's worse than vanilla for you? Then you probably want to run those fixes suggested on their website. It's definitely way better performance than vanilla for me. All right. confirmation bring the engineers in okay seems pretty doable uh three must survive eight remain ten turns of reinforcements Make sure all buildings survive as a bonus oh i haven't played vanilla in probably a year and a half or something maybe longer so Um, where are we going? Do we know where enemies have spawned yet? No, there's a lot of map. Well, shit. Yeah, very lucky if you had no problems on launch with performance or stability. Oh, enemies have just showed up in between my engineers and their escort zone. Mid turn. Quite annoying. Just used three of my four guys facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. odds oh but you know what we have New round. Standing by. Bring the lasers behind him. Seems great. All right, let's turn on our imaging. 
shots here at 25%. Why so bad, friend? No visual target moved. Eight. So he's got his spawn defenses. This guy also rocking, rocking his spawn defenses. Come on. Yeah. Ew. It's too bad. Okay. Kind of punishes you for having good... um. Good initiative when they spawn. I thought he moved. It's kind of weird that he's got eight uh, defenses there. Twenty-nine percent with the FTLs. Follow the leaders. What's my other option? LKs. Can't remove one of those sensor pips. I guess. And just move. Seems okay. Oh, I just lost LOS on the target I wanted to shoot. It's a bitch. Very slightly better on the uh, LKs. Firing. Can't remember what a mask is. I think it's a movement thing. Maybe that explains why his eight movement pips. I don't know if we'll go ahead of him or not. All right. Engineers in. What that's worth. Nukes are disabled because they were so stupid in the first couple missions that we played. Don't know what a wolfhound is. This is our helicopter. Helicopters are slow. Helicopter's 18, yeah, this is our helicopter. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Sure, helicopter, sure. It's definitely something going on with helicopter movement compared to everybody else's. Maybe they're very fast. Seventeen is who? Don't know. One of the vehicles, maybe? Oh, enemy turn. It's one of these unknown pips. Did I nuke one of our own turrets? Looks like I did. Alright, so we are going to go ahead of this, uh, this dude. Which is great, which means he doesn't get a turn at all. Just 
What's the weight on a wolfhound? Do we know? Don't really know. Alright. Um, 40, 35 ton. Okay. percent's there after jumping 32's there all pretty bad but we'll take those a lot of allied support here All right, new round. We got missiles. Can let this guy down. 14 and unknown. Our tag barrage is up too. Uh, 32% or 29. Why so bad? No visuals. Gotta get that up. So, there was some. What were we just considering? We were considering putting the other beagle on this guy, weren't we? Yeah, we should do that. No visuals has gotta stop. Uh, the rangefinder is plugged into his head, yep. Has it helped? It's not on that guy, it's on the PPC guy, but yes, it's helped a lot. I think that guy has a beagle probe, actually. So I actually don't think I can get better on that on him. Guardian ECM, heat bank, patchwork, beagle, yeah. Until I get a better version of Beagle, I can't really do anything with that. Commander. All right, can walk forward and shoot this guy. I'm okay with that. That is behind us. Remember if we turned on our accuracy or not? I think we did. Lost his evasive pips, I guess, is okay. It's at 14. We rolled 17 on this guy. Our teammates might kill this. How it just eject? How it just ejected, nice. I want to shoot this guy with the PPC. Enemy next though, apparently. Wonder if he'll get one of the buildings killed. Yeah, I don't know what the modifier for a knight is for sight. 
it's just like a percentage reduction in range or heart. I don't know quite. I don't quite know how that mechanic works. Oh, is he hiding now? Oh, he is, but he doesn't matter. Well, looks like we got a hit on one of them. Kind of nice. Yeah, I've used the night vision cockpit. The, the, the problem is the night vision cockpit is combined with the thermal in imaging cockpit, and the thermal imaging doesn't work as advertised. Oh, we knocked him down? I didn't even notice. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. It's more junk, little mechs. It's no problem with this, this difficulty of a mission. I don't know what a hammer is, though. That might be more reasonably sized. Although the way it moved, I think it's probably still light. This thermal do gives you uh, increased accuracy versus enemies who are overheating. Uh, no information on the hammer, unfortunately. Except that he had 29 fucking initiative roll. Blackjack is something we are very, very interested in because we're three of five on a blackjack, I believe. Or am I misremembering? That might be a shadow hawk. Fuck. It might not be three of five on a blackjack. One and five on a blackjack, okay. Vulcan, can't get the weights on these right now. Gotta wait, I guess, till our turn. Really nice if my teammates would just finish off the downed mech. Did they finish him off? Or did we just lose sensor lock on him? Some super high initiative rolls. This I did pick up some mech parts this morning before you showed up, but no blackjack parts. I think I was ex I was confusing it with the Shadow Hawk for a moment. Got excited. He's looking dead over there. Is he dead? All right, first of our guys coming in at 20 initiative. We've got the laser mech as well as the LRM. And the AMS on this, which is the other nice thing. Doesn't look dead, does it? What are your 
Was it here? Looks dead to you. I don't know how to tell. All right, let's move to here. I got you. And let's look at either tag barraging these two. 21% of the missiles kind of sucks. Let's run tag. I could direct drop it on that guy, in which case I could also use the missiles. That's uh, my own guys in the hitbox. Is that my guy? No, it's not. <laughs> Take it back. Looks about perfect. Perfect. Pretty sure all those shots versus this guy. I don't know. I was going to say all the shots versus him are wasted because I'm going to flank him and kill him. But maybe with two hostile mechs right there, maybe I'm not flanking and killing him. Shoot him in the front. His frontal armor is basically gone. That's going to have a very nasty explosion on it. It's right front. So maybe some movement to like there and shoot him would be okay. Are we still running our enhanced imaging? Enhanced imaging is on right now. Okay. Still up though. Uh oh. Don't be this problem game. Okay, it's just so long. Thing there. Fuck's with the performance right now. Okay. Didn't really want to leave him up. Especially since we killed none of his medium lasers. I was really expecting that internal explosion to be a little bit more exciting. Didn't really seem to do a lot, honestly. We need to finish him off, I guess. All right, where can I get? Uh, also, what the fuck is this? Can I get LOS anywhere? Can. Wrong side on him. But 50% to smack him with the PPC might be good enough. Yeah, base defense does seem to be a little bit lower performance. Still much better than anything else. All right. Oh my god. I can't wait to get some AC-20s in this playthrough. Alright, can walk forward and shoot this guy. I don't know if he's gone yet. Yeah, he is. 28-29. Not too worried about the heat mech right now, although getting another kill would be nice. Walking over to this guy and just fucking nuking him would be great. 
Uh, we can get an angled shot on his right side. His right side seems pretty beat up. Backside seems pretty beat up. There's no way we can get behind him, right? Very close, but no. Why so bad? No visual. Yeah, night is destroying our accuracy. have turrets on our side for once. Alright, let's hope we get a nice initiative roll compared to him. He's still got a lot of close range weapons left. We rolled a 20 and a 21, it's kind of medium. Don't have information on the target's roll, although the other guy rolled a 15. Looks like we did go ahead of him. At least on one of our guys. We do have sensor lock up. Not convinced he's evasive anymore. No, he definitely is. All right. Twenty nine percent here. Actually, forty four is there. Sure. Okay, took out some of his medium lasers and probably knocked him back in initiative. I think he's probably screwed at this point. Question is, what do we want to screw him with? Probably we just don't want him acting, so we should probably shoot him with the uh, the hunchback. All right, let's turn off our thing. Walk behind to there. Shoot. Still up. Commander. I'm not taking any more shots on him though. I would take shots on this guy. 75 seems pretty decent. I love the converging PPC blast. It's very, it's very enjoyable. Start getting LOS on these guys maybe. I think that mountain's gonna block and if they're coming up over here, I'm not sure if it's advantageous to switch to this area or not. Okay. Kinda loving our uh our PPC hunchback right now.
Uh, I'm going to reserve here. Wait for those mother mechs to come up the the road a little bit. All right, I'm standing here. Could jump on top of a building. Yeah, but then I can't ace pilot because I can't, or rather, I have to jump every time. Game have king crabs, presumably. Haven't got there yet in terms of the weights that we're facing. I mean, that guy took a shit ton of health, shit ton of hits. Well, they don't seem to be uh, playing along with that, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot about the blackjack. Wait, did it say the blackjack was a 45 tonner? Shit, I thought it was a heavier mech than that. I think saying something like the uh, King Crab is a real PPC boat ignores kind of the progression we are at in this game right now. We don't have access to 100 ton mechs. Wherever the fuck it is, it's pretty high up there in weight. Alright, three turns on barrage, we can LRM him from range, but I'm not that excited by it, kind of just want to get closer. Minefield on the way. Changes to the max compared to yesterday. Uh, no, not really yet. Standing by. Too far forward. Oh, we have tag barrage up. Ah, shit. I would have moved slightly differently had I realized that. Um, can I drop it where I want to drop it? Probably not, right? No, I would have to have moved smarter. Feels bad. Okay. We did pick up a second uh, barrage tag. I guess that's a fairly decent change. <laughs> 